going on everybody? Happy New Year and welcome back to another video tutorial from droidlife.com. What we want to show you today is how to install the swipe keyboard which was released I believe yesterday onto your Motorola Droid device. Um, since the application for this swipe keyboard is not available in the Android market yet, uh, we have to do it manually and kind of do some workarounds. So we're going to show you how to do that today. Uh, so first thing you need to do is go to droid-life.com and we've got the instructions up on there that walk you through step by step how to do it. Okay, so once you're there, you need to download a zip file, and we have linked on there, and download that, extract the file that's in there, which is going to be an APK file, um, extract that, it's going to say swipe all over it, so you're going to know exactly what the file is, just make sure you remember where you put it. Okay, second thing we need to do then is drop that APK file onto our SD card, and then install it from there on our phone. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull up our phone, and we want to mount so go ahead and mount your device and that should pop right up and I love Windows 7 okay so there's our SD card up and there's all our files and then I've also gone ahead and and unzipped that file and extracted the APK onto just my computer so in order to do to get it on your SD card it's pretty simple you can either drag and drop it or since I'm working with one hand right now I'm gonna copy and paste it Okay, so I'm just going to paste it right into, there we go, transfer it over. I'm just going to paste it right into the main file, um, the main folder on my SD card. I'm not going to stash it away in any of these folders just so I can find it pretty easy later. Okay, so the next thing I do is close that out, and then I'm going to actually unmount my phone. So turn that off. I just want to make sure the install is really clean. And actually, if you have it mounted, it, the phone shouldn't let you onto the SD card anyway. So, all right. Next thing we need to do then is go into our settings and we're going to get into settings and you need to go to applications. Okay, So when you're in applications the top box says unknown sources and there's a checkbox. Okay? So when we check that box it's going to allow us to install applications that are not from the Android market. If you don't have that checked you can't do this. So when you check that you're going to get an attention message and it really just says do you know what the hell you're doing and since we're installing the swipe keyboard and I trust it I'm going to say OK. Alright, so that's going to allow us to do that now, so then we're going to go back home and we're going to go over and use this nice little application called Astro. If you don't have Astro yet, you should get it. It's available in the Android market and it's just a file manager that lets you control everything that's going on in your phone. Okay, so let's open that up and what we're looking for is that swipe file. And since I put it just in the main root directory here, I'm just going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and the bottom file down there says swipe dash swipe reference so I'm pretty sure that's the file we're going to use. Okay, So go ahead and click on that and you're going to get another message that says do you want to browse the file or do you want to open the app manager and we're going to open the app manager. Okay, App manager for this swipe file opens up and over here there's an install box so just go ahead and click install and you get one more message and you can click install down there bottom left and we're installing and it really doesn't take that long it's not a giant file it's just your keyboard right okay so installing we're installing there's probably an install song you could sing to go along with that shouldn't take too much longer okay there we go application installed okay so click done and that should take you back to Astro and let's just go ahead and get out of there alright let's go back into settings now okay next thing you need to do is scroll down to language and keyboard and we're going to check to see if it's installed. And as you can see right there, swipe and swipe. So swipe is now installed. And mine actually has the box checked, the box checked already because I was using it earlier. But um, if you want to check that for the first time, you're going to get an attention message that says make sure you're, you actually know what this keyboard is so somebody's not so it's not copying all your keystrokes and sending them off somewhere. Okay, So swipe, I'm going to trust it. This thing's all over the internet. Let's go ahead and hit OK. Um, so now we have the swipe keyboard enabled. You can also go into your swipe settings and set up all kinds of stuff. And we haven't dug into it deeply enough to go in there. We'll probably do another tutorial on that later. Okay, So let's just use the keyboard so you can see what it looks like. Um, now that you have that checked, it's installed, it's ready to go. So let's just go in and pull up a text message. Okay, So if we click in the box where you actually type, hold on that, um, you get input method as one, of your, as one of your options. If you hit input method, you have Android keyboard and swipe keyboard. So let's check for swipe. And now we've enabled the swipe keyboard. So if we pull that up so we can type, 
Okay, try that again. And you can see the keyboard looks quite a bit different. Colors change, buttons differ, and there's some stuff in some different places. Uh, let's go landscape mode so you can really see what this thing looks like. And there we go. So it's got different colors, buttons are just situated or spaced a little differently. I don't know, I really like it. I've just played with it for about five or 10 minutes and I can say the buttons just seem to actually touch properly when you hit them. You're not getting double button push, anything like that. I really like it. They've moved some buttons around and things like that, but for the most part, um, I'm a big fan. So I, I, I suggest you check this out. It's the swipe keyboard. Um, if you need help, comments, got questions, whatever's going on, we're here to help you. Go to droidlife.com, leave us a comment, shoot us an email, or just leave a comment in the video and we'll see what we can do. Hopefully that helps and I'm out. Peace.